Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and today I'm going to talk about dopamine and how it relates to your sex drive and erections for us guys, and also how it affects women's sexual desires. Now here's something that most people don't know. The excitatory system in animals, including humans, increases your drive and libido, thus improving your sexual performance and desire and increasing your sexual drive. On the opposite side, the inhibitory system stimulates sexual reward, sedation, and satiety. Basically, it's, it makes you not hungry anymore, right? Kill, kind of basically kills your drive and thus sexual desire as well. So if you're looking for better erections, uh, you need to stimulate the excitatory system and not the inhibitory system. So how is this done? Well, the core excitatory system in the brain is the dopamine system, which is linked to the hypothalamus and the limbic system and includes uh, melanocortins, oxytocin, and norepinephrine. On the opposite side, the inhibitory system contains brain opioids, the endocannabinoids, and also serotonin system that are activated during periods of sexual inhibition and thus blunt the excitatory system. So this is why drugs that increase serotonin, such as SSRIs and Prozac, similar drugs, antidepressant drugs, can decrease your libido for both men and women, and also decrease your ability to get erections and have orgasms. Now these drugs also, again, negatively affect women's sexual desire as well. So to keep it simple, basically, drugs that are downers are more inhibitory, and drugs that are uppers are more excitatory. Now, let's talk about hormones. In both men and women, testosterone increases dopamine and thus increases your desire to have sex. Testosterone also increases the synthesis of nitric oxide, which helps improve blood flow to the penis and the clitoris. For men, this means bigger, fuller, and harder reactions. So, increasing your testosterone naturally from within should be one of your primary goals if you want higher sex drive, and harder erections. Now, the benefit of testosterone is it directly increases your sex drive and ability to get erections and, and, and be hornier because it's the primary sex hormone for both men and women, testosterone is. But it also has indirect benefits because it helps increase dopamine, a neurotransmitter. On the other hand, you want to minimize the inhibitory system and that means not taking drugs that increase serotonin such as antidepressants and also reducing or minimizing uh, drugs such as marijuana and alcohol. Those are all downers, right? These drugs are inhibitory, not stimulatory. As far as the first solution of how to increase your testosterone levels naturally from within, I've covered this many times in previous videos, and you can do so in, by improving your lifestyle, by eating better and exercising more and sleeping better and also reducing stress. Now, if you want faster results, you can take specific herbs that help increase both your testosterone and dopamine levels. Now, I've been using a product for over 25 years called Alpha Viral. It does all of these hormone optimizations, improving dopamine and thus increasing your sexual desire, drive, and erections. You get more details about Alpha Viral below in the description area if you want to increase your testosterone, dopamine levels, and so forth. However, let's continue with today's topic about improving dopamine levels. Now, What's the best way to increase dopamine levels? Now, this can be a little bit complex, but there's three variables. First, you want to increase dopamine. Next, you want to reduce things that deplete your dopamine. And third, you want to increase your sensitivity to dopamine at the receptors. Now, I'll be making a really detailed video about these three factors in a future video, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click the notification icon so when it's released, you get notified. However, let me first give you five quick dopamine improving solutions for just fast results. The first thing you want to do is you can consume the amino acid L-tyrosine. It's needed for dopamine production. Now, I personally take about 500 to 1,000 milligrams two to three times daily, and it's best to do so on an empty stomach. Now, I take it first thing in the morning and also take it before my workouts. It's best not to take it too late in the day because it can give you energy and thus cause sleep problems. Also, another great supplement for improving dopamine levels is called Velvet Bean Extract, which contains L-DOPA, uh, and that helps increase dopamine. Now, I take about 100 milligrams 
uh, two times daily or more. And the good news is this is already found in that product alpha viral. Combined with the other testosterone boosting herbs, it has a very positive synergistic effect on both libido and erections. Now, number two, you want to make sure you get enough deep quality sleep because sleep optimizes all your youth hormones and neurotransmitters while also reducing stress hormones such as cortisol. So if you wake up with an alarm, chances are you're probably not sleeping enough. And when you wake up with an alarm, cortisol immediately shoots up and you don't want that. So ideally, try to go to bed a little bit earlier, all right? If you have a hard time falling, falling asleep or staying asleep, you can take natural herbs, you can take melatonin and other things. Now I take a product called Deep Sleep Formula every night because it really works and I don't wake up groggy. I have a link to that below in this video. Number three, you want to exercise daily or at least three to five times a week. Lifting weights helps increase both testosterone and dopamine levels. Plus, you feel more confident, right? When you look in shape, you have a little bit more muscle, you have a little bit less fat. And again, it's good for your dopamine levels. Remember, exercise is stimulatory and it increases epinephrine and other important neurotransmitters. Number four, you want to get sunlight and take extra vitamin D3 and again with K2. Most people are deficient or have low levels of vitamin D. Now, vitamin D3 is actually uh, a hormone. It's not a vitamin. It's very powerful, especially for both testosterone, optimizing hormones and dopamine levels. Now, I take a product called Perfect Vitamin D3 and K2. I just take one pill during the summer and I take two pills during the winter. It has many important benefits, helps boost your immune system, bone density, and so forth. Remember, you want to take vitamin D3 with K2. They work together. Again, more details about this below in the description area. And number five, you want to manage your stress levels. Listen, when cortisol levels go up, stress hormones go up, testosterone levels actually come down. Also, dopamine levels get depleted and also causes receptor damage when stress and cortisol levels are high. That's really important. Again, I always tell you sleep is super important, especially for lowering cortisol levels. Also, limiting outside stress from the news and negative people is obviously very important. Unfortunately, the outside world is much harder to control. That's why during times of stress, I take certain herbs such as uh, ashwagandha and phosphatol, serine and emodin and other um, herbs to help lower my stress hormones. Now, I take a product called stress and cortisol relief during times of stress or in the evening when you basically want to lower cortisol levels before sleep, which then increases melatonin, another hormone, which is really important. Again, all this information below in the description area. So to summarize, those are the five proven ways to improve both testosterone and dopamine levels. And I've listed links to all this stuff that I mentioned today below in the description area so you can take a look if you want faster results. The bottom line is that if you want to improve your libido and sex drive and sexual performance and improve your mood and confidence, you need to optimize your dopamine levels. And this is done by increasing your testosterone levels, improving dopamine production and sensitivity, and also reducing stress hormones. Um, I'll do a more detailed video about all this stuff in the future. If you want, leave your questions and comments below. Anything you want me to cover in that future video, I will. Now, it's up to you to take action, not just passively listen like most people do. You owe it to yourself to make these improvements, all right? You deserve it. You'll feel so much better in life having optimal hormone levels. And again, I put all the helpful and important links below in the description area. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you learned something, share and subscribe. With that said, have a happy and healthy day.